What's up team, welcome to a little different video. Today I just sat down after the dinner and decided to review some spots into Icemeister. And I thought since a couple of you guys asked me how I usually review things, I just decided to fight up and go through the hands with you guys. We have 9 hands prepared, not sure how many we are going to make, I have to see how long this is going to take me, but we will just hop into the action. And gonna check out the first spot here with the king check suited, checking out these hands in holder manager. And very open, pretty standard here with 38 big blinds and this guy just decides to jam 11 bigs into us. I ended up making the call I guess and we were up versus ace 10 off suit. Um, it's a pretty interesting spot, he jams the hijack versus my low jack open. Um, I'm gonna copy paste that hand into my buddy ICM ISO over here. Let's paste the hand in there. We're just looking at chip EV and not I, uh, dollar EV, so there's no ICM involved in this hand. To make things a little easier. First of all, so I want to see my calling range here versus him. Um, therefore, we need to put in the hands he is going <coughs> to jam. Now, this is kind of tough because it obviously depends, and I'm not really sure what he should be jamming in the first place. Um, but, can I move this somehow? No, apparently I cannot move this. Well, whatever. Let's see. Um, I think that he won't be jamming like the smallest pairs. Um, and we can take a bunch of that stuff out of here. Maybe leave that in for now. We can take out some. I mean, this is pretty close. I mean, this is probably already fairly wide jamming range, something like that. Um, but yeah, we can check with that range how we are doing. Um, let's quickly press the calculate button. So King just suited pretty clear call here for them big blinds with a jam range like that. Also suited ASX here. I think that, that looks pretty solid honestly. That's what I would call in this spot. I mean I would call Ace 10 off and maybe Ace is suited. It's pretty close already because I feel like people are not jamming these enough. But if he jams Ace 10 off he's probably jamming Ace 9 Ace 8 suited nonetheless. So I guess this is a, actually a pretty decent range for him to jam. And yeah, this, these are the hands we're gonna call with even 10 9 suited given that we get that we are getting these good odds. Any pair we are calling, that's for sure. King Queen off, King Queen suited. And these small suited hands. What we can do down here is like also press this button it's just that we take out the bottom of the calling range. Um only take like really plus three spots, even though it doesn't matter that much with my stack right now. So I guess I would be calling like ace turn off, ace suited plus and check ten suited plus here. And yeah, that's pretty reasonable range. Good to go with the first spot there. Gonna check the next spot now, where we have, we have, where we have the king turn off on the button. And we open, and now this guy champs and has 16 bigs. He's a really tight player, so we will adjust his jamming range a little bit. But these spots also happen quite often, and then we can adjust a little bit and experiment a little bit with the spot again. In case uh, we are facing a, a different type of regular. Um, so yeah, I think that the tight player here, for 16 bigs, he plays 11 10 so far. It's probably not much wider than this, um, which is already um, I mean I doubt he would fold something like deuces there, also I don't think he would ever trap us there. Um, I mean this is pretty tough to say honestly. I guess something like that is fairly reasonable for him to be jamming. As a tight player, I mean, this is already pretty tight, and then we're definitely losing chips here, making a call with King 10 0. Um, I think like, this is a pretty reasonable range for him to have. If we like put in a more aggressive range now versus like versus more regulars, that might jam any ace on us, um, given or like they really expect us to be opening wide. Something like, I mean, might not that. Maybe something like that here? I think that's not a little crazily unreasonable re jamming re range. We definitely have to fold King 10 off, but start calling King Jack off versus more aggressive players. You can even make a call with something like Ace 5 off if you really expect to jam all of these smaller aces. I'm not entirely sure if people do that. Maybe put in like Ace 7 off plus. I mean, for 16 bigs. And yeah, then these lose value, obviously. Um, <coughs> given that we don't know dominate with ace 5 ace 2 off and shit anymore. But yeah, this is pretty interesting. Um, I think that is pretty solid range. Calling any suited ace, you know? This is also a spot where 
what I think what we gain a lot from here in the small blind range is just that people that open the button wide, they are not calling you with ace three suited if you champ six and bigs here, they are not calling with ace five suited. And look at how much profit it usually makes. Um, so rejamming small blind quite profitable here with these guys that do, are not doing this, but I've which I feel like a lot of the player pool is doing as well. Um, Alright, and take it out. I'm going to take another note on that. Um, calling 16 big blind 3 bet jam OTB versus small blind. I'm going to put in like Suited plus is a O King ten suited plus Yeah, pretty much that is what we're getting down to. I mean I'm pretty confident about the pairs calling. Anyhow, now with the we put in another hand. I'm not gonna show I'm not sure if you make our way through all of these today. It takes a little bit long obviously if I record myself. But this guy champs oh this is pretty interesting here. Um Yeah this is really interesting, especially with the stack sizes behind. If you want to rejam something like e7 there. Let's go back into the big picture. Paste the hand to three. So the guy is open jamming six big blinds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on a nine max table. Um, UTG plus two. So let's plug in his jam range, which should look deuce, like deuce plus, ace four off plus, check nine suited plus, um, maybe nine eight suited should be in there, ten eight suited is also in there, and I guess something like king nine suited plus, it's king six suited plus, alright. Uh, king ten off plus, queen ten off, something like that is his jamming range. And now we also gotta put in the overcalling ranges in case we do re jam here. Um, it's actually not too unreasonable, honestly. We reach M20 here for him to call that. These guys can call a little bit wider. Ace 9 suited versus a jam and a re -jam. I guess people are not going quite as wide, something like that, maybe. Pfft, tough to say. These guys have like tighter ranges. I think like 5.9 is not actually not too bad here. Let's see, how do we get down to 5? I'm like, oh, I guess we take those out and this 5.9. There we go. Yeah, I think that's all that's reasonable. Big blind, we call it a little bit wider, getting better odds. Um, let's put it in a seven suited will be a fold. Wow, that's interesting. Ace nine suited here at the cutoff. I actually think that makes sense. I think I folded the hand, yeah, I folded as well. It's also what I feel about the hand, honestly. That's what I would have told you. Like ace ten off, I also here ace nine suited, I also there as well. I would have ace eight suited would have been close, man. I might have gone for it. Honestly, looking at it now, I think I'm pretty confident about this. But doing a good job, I might also king queen off, which is clearly not an isolate here. Um, and yeah, I would fold for fives. Like I think I go with sixes plus there. So I think I'm pretty, pretty confident about the stop, but uh, about the spot. Obviously, the spot like gets quite different if some of these stacks behind change and if this guy suddenly um. Yeah, or if we have more chips, if you have like 30, 40 bigs, then we have to fold a little bit more. Right now we can just rejam and it's pretty easy for me to play. Alright, let's work our way through one more hand for this video. I don't want to make it too long, but I definitely want to give you guys a good input. Let's see what the last hand looks like. Queen 5-0 on the button, 9 big blinds effective. I guess I open champ here, not expecting him to call correctly, playing 79 and a regular in the big blind. Um, this will be pretty interesting. Usually, obviously, not a jam, um, but yeah, let's, let's plug it in and see. So, let's see. Um, Alright, this is what we can jam here for 9 bigs, if we expect this guy to ice us with that. Um, first of all, I think this is not the case. Ace to suit it, I guess. Some like King 9 suit plus, maybe. Queen 9 suit, I would I take out there. King then off I will take out. Um, it's tough to say. Maybe something like that. Not a big blind. Wait, is it, you need to call a big blind call. It's just like that is definitely not the case. Like six bigs. I think don't think people will call with these hands. Maybe something like that more. Maybe like queen seven zero plus. I'm not sure if you will call any call any king. 
You will definitely call any ace, there's no doubt about that. Hmm. Something like that, maybe? It's tough to say if he calls 10 8 suited. Yeah, pretty much. Boom. And it's a jam. I mean, we were, we were arguing about the spot later on the stream, and I was just like, I just, people are just not calling enough in these spots. And like, if you even look at the big blind calling range, it's not that like everyone will, like, I mean, I think that is pretty reasonable, actually. Um, yeah, I might even call it a little bit wider here with six bigs, but you know, this was deep in the tournament. So I think people call it even a little bit tighter. And actually, this jam, it looks like pretty weird at this stage. Uh, I mean, we lost to ace nine suited. I mean, that's a pretty standard call, like, no surprise about that. But it should be profitable here if you look at these calling ranges and these guys. Um, yeah, for us to make the jam and take those down these important chips at this stage. Um, I think I will just wrap up this video here, guys. This is pretty much uncut. <laughs> I hope it was good for you. You took some things out of it, how to calculate these spots. As usual, if you have any questions about it, feel free to put them in the description. I'm happily answering that. I'm not a pro in ICMIs. There might be some mistakes I'm doing about certain ranges. Let me know what you think. If you think people jam tighter or call wide on certain spots, so I can improve a little bit myself as well. And you, the viewers, are not the only one that gained something from the video. If you enjoyed it, guys, always appreciate a thumbs up with new concepts like that. I'm going to catch you on the felt and wish you all the best of luck. Have a good evening, guys, or afternoon, or whenever you watch this video. Cheers.